I'm a glowing and avowed admirer of Anton Parr density meters. When I was a young student in Kloster Neuburg at the end of the 70s, let's say 1977, 1978, we used a pycnometer to determine density. You filled liquid, emptied it back out, made adjustments, compensated for temperature and weighed it. This was a great challenge, of course. We were 38 students and arrived at about 45 different measuring results. Then there was an instrument, back there in the corner, that only the professor was allowed to use. It was off-limits to us, and it measured the density at once. And we were like, oh, it's called PAR, it's a density meter. Then, two years later, in my first apprenticeship with the fruit juice manufacturer Rauch, I was allowed to work with the meter. They had such an instrument as the first and only Austrian fruit juice producer. One thing led to another, and in time, of course, other companies also got the idea that they could measure density in this way. Anyway, those were my first experiences with this meter, and we had great respect for it. So as soon as our company's funds allowed for it, our first investment was a density meter because I want a proper result every day. I believe we have been using this instrument for 20 years, and in all those years it has always provided excellent results.